Hey y'all, it's Ricky T and I'm coming to you from my office here at the Taylor Plantation in beautiful Beach Grove, Indiana. Early March. It's warming up a little bit, but it's cold today. It's, it's in the low 40s, but it was, I was out there with a little windy, so I'm I'm waiting for the wind to die down. I may head out there and relax a little bit, but a little bit cold today. Anyway, I got another video for you. Today, I want to thank my good friend, Frank Lux, Mr. Not Mr. Dr. Frank Lux for this. Redemption High Rye Bourbon. Okay. Um, I've had Redemption Rye and I like it very much. It was one of the better ryes I've had. So you take a bourbon and you make it a high rye bourbon and I'm guessing it's going to be pretty good. So I got my glass here. You guys may recall the last couple of um, reviews I've done on whiskey have been scotch. And I've I've uh, went ahead and started out neat, tasted it, and then added the ice and tasted it again. You kind of got two reviews in one. Today it's bourbon. I got it on I got it on the rocks. Um, it's not a really super expensive type of um, deal like the like the uh, Glendronich that I tried that was a two hundred dollar bottle. My dog's over here going crazy because he sees a treat. Matter of fact, let me just give it to him to shut him up. Hey, All right. Um, so this is a good, this is a well-priced everyday type of um, bourbon. If you like rye and you like bourbon, I'm guessing this is going to be really good. This has been sitting here for a few minutes. As you can see, the ice has melted a little bit. So... Without further ado, I'm not going to bloviate for too long. Let's try to see what we got here. You can tell that it's high rye because you can you can smell the spice. Uh, you can smell the um, kitchen spices. A little bit of an alcohol um, on the nose, being that it's an everyday type um, whiskey, probably. Probably to be expected. Let's go again. Getting some vanilla. Definitely some vanilla. And maybe a little bit of fruit. Like maybe like a cherry. Like a tart cherry. So we're getting some vanilla, some cherry, some kitchen spice. Um, and I, I didn't get as much of that alcohol on that second and third um, nose. So that's, that's what I'm getting on the nose. That's what I'm getting with the aroma. Let's give her a sip or two and see what, what she tastes like. The dog is waiting for some more treats and they're all gone. You guys can let him out if you want. I've got two girls and a dog in my office. It's ridiculous. I did not get this on the nose, but there's kind of a mint. I've been getting that mint on a couple of things here lately. I don't know what's up with that. For a $30 bottle of bourbon, it's really smooth. Um, it does have a little bit of heat on the palate. Not like a scotch. I'm trying to pick up some other flavors. It's, it's smooth. I like that. It's pretty smooth. I'm definitely getting fruit. Getting the fruit, getting a little of that mint is really in there. It's pretty strong. I'm not picking up the uh, vanilla like I was on the nose. It's pretty good. I like it. See, I'm, I'm still trying to figure it out. Um, hmm, it's, it's a little bit different than some other high rye bourbons I've had. So, every sip has been consistent. I'm getting 
a lot of fruit, that mintiness. And the reason I keep taking a sip is there's another flavor profile that I'm definitely getting, but I can't figure out what it is. I am starting to feel a little bit of, the, you know, that numbness on the front of my palate. Try my loop here, okay. I'm gonna try one more time to see if I can figure out this unidentified flavor note. Whatever it is, it's good. So what I'm gonna tell you is we've got Redemption High Rye. Um, it's a $30 bottle. I think I've even seen it for less. Um, I do like the straight rye better but for a bourbon, it's really good. It's something that if you do like rye, um, I would give it a try. And um, it's probably something that's worth having in your uh, in your cabinet. So, cheers. I'm gonna keep drinking it. And um, it's definitely something worth trying. Especially, like bang for buck, it's really good. Again, like I have burp, like I have um, bullet, Bullet is also a high rye bourbon, but this tastes completely different. It's so different. Oh, by the way, this is an Indiana bourbon. So for my fellow Hoosiers, you can um, support the Hoosier state uh, with redemption. Um, but it, it's, yeah, this review might seem like I'm kind of bewildered a little bit because this really is different than any other bourbon or high rye bourbon I've ever had. Like I say, bullets high rye, this doesn't taste anything like that. It's totally different. And so that's a good thing because it gives you a diversion. So I'd say for the price, buy a bottle. Um, it can be just something to mix it up every now and then. I'm gonna have to get a cigar here in a couple of weeks when it warms up and um, have, have a cigar with one of these. I bet that will really be good. So anyway, that's my review of the Redemption High Rye Bourbon. Hope you enjoyed it, and until next time.